Hello and welcome to the video. And today you find us in a very windy Ingleborough quarry. Now I'm heading over to, you can see Ingleborough just there in the background, and we're just heading over, just over that uh, ridge line uh, to some limestone pavements uh, that are there, which I've been meaning to visit for quite some time now. But uh, yeah, the rain's staying off. As I saw from the case, which I'll tell you about in a minute, I'll tend to end up getting a bit wet when I come out, or when I plan to come out to take some photographs. So yes, if you'd like to hang around for the next 10 or 15 minutes, and we're gonna get some images like this. Okay, well the reason why it's been a bit of a rubbish week, uh, or a couple of weeks photography wise, is I went up to Snake Pass and just to make a, a video up around there, the woodlands that I've seen uh, looked really smart and so uh, I decided yes, that's where I was going to go that day. But as is so often the case, when you've got limited time to get out, the day that I decided to go out. I got there, weather was good, but as soon as I got set up to take some photographs, the heavens opened. Now, that's not really too much of a bother. I thought I'd stick it out, and that's what I did. And I was getting some nice images, or I thought I was getting some nice images on the back of the camera. Now, basically after about an hour, I had to give it a rest because it was starting to come down a little bit too much and the rain, even though it was very misty at times, it did get harder, was very intrusive onto my camera gear. So I packed up and went home. I reviewed the images that I took and noticed many spots of rain on the lens. So the pictures were really not good. So nothing worth keeping. Roll on in the next week, I decided that, uh, as you probably know, my work takes me up to the Lake District once a month. And being school holidays, one of my daughters came with me and we decided that we were gonna visit on the way back one of my favorite waterfalls, uh, just to take some, or just to film a sequence basically for an up, up and coming video that we've got planned. And, Again, beautiful day. And I took my stuff out to start filming and I noticed condensation on the inside of my lenses. So yes, that's something I wasn't really thinking <laughs> I would have to deal with on that day. I've never really had to deal with condensation on the inside of my lenses. It wasn't a lot, but it was enough to make everything misty and foggy and totally unfilmable. So I was kind of panicking a little bit because I had visions of having to send the lenses away and all this sort of stuff. So all these things go through your mind. So I was not a happy camper that day. Anyway, long and short of it is, I've uh, basically left them out in a warm, area just to see if naturally they'll dry out but I wasn't sure about the actual inside how you dry the inside of a lens out so anyway today is the experiment as to whether uh, the lenses have dried out properly enough and are good enough to film so hopefully the footage that I get today will show that 
but it's such a nice to be out in amongst all this. How beautiful. Uh, hopefully <laughs> the rain is going to stay off again. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good. So let's get some photos done. Okay, so what we've got going on is there's a natural curve uh, to the boughs of the uh, tree and what I've done is I've got to the ribble, vi ribble head viaduct just in underneath uh, arching that. Um, I think it's pretty much the standard shot really um, for this composition but uh, I don't really have the light with me at the minute so I'm going to just take a close-up shot uh, and then what I might do is just take a couple of uh, other shots to try and include this dramatic uh, light that's going on at the minute. Um, it's uh, not looking like it's going to rain or anything like that at the minute, so uh, it should all be good. Um, so I'm going to take this shot now and um, I'll put that up for you now so you can have a look. Okay, so what I've done <clears throat> before putting my camera away, uh, I just thought I'd do kind of like a 90 degree spin and uh, shoot towards uh, the light because the clouds are doing some interesting stuff. And what I've done is I've uh, come down low because I want to make a feature of these rocks in the foreground uh, leading off to that tree. Um, but because the clouds are coming towards me, they're doing some quite interesting things. So I thought what I would do is uh, focus in on, on the foreground and start taking some photos there. Um, I've kept it. What I've tried to do is, is come down low so that the boughs are underneath of the tree are above the horizon uh, because I don't normally like where you've got the horizon coming across over here. Usually I like to try to keep the subject or the tree below the horizon so the horizon goes above it. Or uh, if it's gonna be sticking into the sky because it can be a distraction, you have a majority of the tree above the horizon and then just make sure that it's 
firmly planted there um, and it's not causing a distraction. If you look through some, uh, some other images that I may have done, you've just got maybe the odd branch just sticking out into the skyline and it's just a little bit distracting. It doesn't look too, too nice. So that's the reason why I've dropped the camera down really low for two things. One, the foreground, I want to try and keep this the, the tree kind of elevated and uh, hopefully that example will come out and I'll show you that now. here on this shot is um, I've got some stones just in front of the camera here I've managed to have to spread my tripod out a little bit to try and get some sort of purchase um, but I've got these boulders that are just setting in front in the foreground here leading off to this tree uh, and that is then basically fill, framing the background of the viaduct um, but while I've been setting this shot up I've also seen that I might be able to work something out by moving the camera just down here to my right a little bit um, so I'm going to take this shot put that up for you now um, what we're going is uh, because it's, it's still pretty much overcast is we're going with ISO of 320 uh, just so that we can get the shutter speed up to stop any movement in the bracken or the fern sorry at the front of the shot um, so yeah it, it, on the back of the screen it looks pretty pretty tasty so um, yeah let's uh, have a go with that and I'll pop that up for you now and I'll scoot myself around and see if I can just reframe this because uh, it'd be quite nice to make a bit more of a feature of the viaduct in the background. up what I want to do here today I've been here for a few hours now um, the light has been really flat right the way across the board really um, it's not really give us any major opportunities um, with some nice contrasting light on the hillsides or anything like that uh, I'm just waiting to see if anything happens over and the old plateau over there at those Ingleborough uh, top there um, this, the clouds are coming in and washing across the top it look, does look quite nice but uh, it's again it looks flat because every, as you can probably see we're swinging around Ooh, there we go you see how it's all black and everything there it'd be nice if there's a couple of nice hot spots would just uh, light up that side with a bit of cloud on the peak would be absolutely fantastic it'll just kind of round the day off nicely we've got blue sky all around we've got blue sky just up above me just up here uh, but you can see that and it's just teasing me at the moment, but right above us. And it's just been coming in this way. Um, it's just been grey. So I had hoped to make a bit more of the viaduct, but maybe not on this visit, maybe on the next one. Um, I don't know, but it's such a beautiful place and well worth, uh, well worth a visit. So uh, yeah, um, hopefully you've enjoyed the images that you've seen today. And if you do the like and subscribe and all that sort of thing, it helps the channel out. Perfect, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now.